Hello, Harv Video Audio stuff. Welcome back. Is this new Aperture C300D right for you? Stay tuned, and hopefully by the end of the video, I will have helped you figure that one out. Aperture are known for their incredible value products for photography and videography. I own loads of them. I own their VS5 monitor, loads of microphones, and mainly their lights, which I'm actually using to be to film this video right now. Aperture's C300D, although from its name, it sounds like some kind of love child of two different Canon Weah. products. It really is a step in the right direction for Aperture because make no mistake, this is a high-end product. It has some really interesting features, but then the price, when you start to compare it to similar spec lights, starts to look rather interesting. All of this got me intrigued, so I did what I do. I used and abused it in an effort to understand what it's about and see if it's something that I would actually recommend to you or not. So let's see if this beast is for you. So what is it? Aperture's Lightstorm C300D is their brightest light to date. How bright, you say? Well, I'm not going to bore you with measurements of lux or foot candles. All I can say is it will output the equivalent of a traditional 2K tungsten light. So how bright? Very bright. It's a COB or chip on board design and what that means if you're not familiar with that is as opposed to a traditional LED panel which is hundreds of little LEDs each covered in its own glass fresnel, this is one single open face very very large LED. What all of that means is that it's a very pure source of light because it's a single source rather than hundreds of sources like on a traditional LED panel. Also, the beam angle is incredibly wide at 120 degrees, which is way, way wider than a traditional LED panel. And that means it's incredibly good at filling up a nice soft box. So is it well built? Well, it has an aluminium construction, which means that it weighs just 2.1 kilos, which for a, a light of its size and power is pretty amazing. Compare that to a tungsten 2K, you're looking at probably more like nine kilos. So it's a pretty incredible achievement to get something of that size and power in such a small and light package. All of this means that they're gonna be easier to carry, easier on the back, easier and quicker to set up, and then think of weight in your vehicle. By extension, it's less weight on your light stands, which in theory means you could buy lighter, less expensive light stands because they don't need to bear such weight. And then by extension, it's less weight in your car, easier to carry around again, and uh, so on and so forth. Half says, lighter is better. The only audible noise from the whole setup is from the power unit. It just has a fan that whirs away, and it's uh, even then it's not, not loud at all. The main unit itself has two fans, which I can see them working. I can't hear them. I've never heard a peep out of them. So, brilliant. But those internal fans, are a very very good thing because then that means the chassis doesn't get too hot and in my book not burning your hands is a good thing. So to sum up it's made from aircraft grade aluminium solidly built it, it has a really nice case that it comes with the Bowens mount that it comes with is an inspired idea but I will get to that later it also comes with a really nice remote that you can turn it off and on you can turn it up and down that kind of thing um, it's kind of hard to criticize it's a professional product and it feels like a professional product should, just rock solid. So what about one of the most important things, at least for me anyway, the quality of the light? Well, it has a CRI rating of 95 plus and a TLCI rating of 96 plus. So it has an incredibly high color accuracy. In case you're wondering what the difference between CRI and TLCI is, CRI is a measurement based on the way that the human eye sees light and color and that kind of thing. TLCI is, is a measurement based on how a camera sensor sees it, so it's algorithm software based. I compared the C300D against a lower CRI light using a colour checker, and whilst the differences might not be immediately obvious, take a look at the primary colours and you'll see the C300D gives you far more true primary colours. Next, let me show you what you get in the box. Run it. When the C300D turned up on my doorstep, I have to admit to feeling pretty surprised by the massive case that it comes with. Everything fits snugly and it's a really well padded bag so I'd have no trouble slinging this around. In the case of course you get the main unit, a lamp head, a controller box and the power supply plus all the necessary cables. So what are the coolest features that come with this? Well in no particular order, firstly you get a power supply supplied with it which doesn't seem like a big deal but really with these kind of lights it kind of is. 
a lot of them don't come with power power units. You have to get some sort of other power source to go with it. So that's awesome. And at the same time, they also have the option to adapt either a gold mount or V mount battery, two of them, uh, to the power unit. So that's really awesome and they've it just shows they've really thought hard about that. Secondly, the chip on board. Uh, it doesn't necessarily seem like a big deal when you, when you first think of it, but um, the purity of the light that comes off this thing is just it is so nice that um, I just think it is it's really something that I needed to mention separately it's it's lovely and it makes a big difference thirdly and I've already mentioned it but the Bowen's mount this is kind of much more of a big deal than you might first realize when looking at this product. The Bounds Mount is something that's been used for photography, mainly photography accessories for years. What all of this means is that because the C300D is a cool running product, it's it's not um, super hot like a, like a 2K tungsten light, it means you can use all of these amazing value peripherals and light modifiers and it won't set things on fire. And that's kind of huge. For example, you could get yourself a really amazing uh, light dome, which would have that super uh, kind of desirable wraparound light look, um, and it, it, it wouldn't need to be made of fire retardant material, because it's not gonna catch fire. You can also get a Fresnel mount, which is just super cool. Um, and Aperture actually have a range of other uh, peripherals to go with this, and I'll um, I'll probably flash them on screen and I'll link them below so you can check them out. But super cool and really exciting. So you may be asking yourself, who is this for? Well, I'd say definitely prosumers and professionals alike. It, it it really is a professional feeling product. I keep I keep using the word professional. Professional I know is a subjective term. But I'd say if, you, if you're earning any cash from shooting video, the C300D definitely deserves your consideration, for sure. But I wonder how many of the high-end studios will actually take a look at this, because I, I, I kind of get the feeling there's an amount of brand snobbery when it comes to lighting, and I wonder how many people will take on that kind of rigid, I'll never use anything but an ARRI 2K kind of point of view. And that's fine. The C300 is for people who aren't yet quite brand loyal to those big brands, but they want a modern, super bright light with bags of class, and at the end of the day gives you really great results. The alternatives, if you're interested and have very deep pockets, are something like an ARRI L10DT, or a Mole Richardson 400W Studio LED, or something like a K5600 Lighting Jokerbug 400W. All of the above will set you back, I mean, between three and five times the price of the Aperture, so it really is outstanding value, no doubt. So I could talk about the C300D all day, uh, but let's not. Instead, let's go to my opinion, and um, I think this is not for everyone, obviously. Um, I don't think it's for people who are just getting into video due to its price, but for professionals, it's an outstanding value. It's well built, it's really well designed, the quality of light is lovely, and, and the flexibility of that Bowen's mount, it's just a genius idea. And, and I think with all those things combined, I think there are people that are really going to fall in love with this product. I really do. So um, from my point of view, it's two thumbs up. Uh, but, you know, definitely have a look into it for yourself. Um, and I, I'll link everything below so you can check things out, check prices in your area. Um, but um, that's it. As always, it's been really fun making this for you. I hope this you found this interesting uh, and informative and um, yeah I'll catch you next time take care guys